in Nyando area are calling for help from both the national and county governments to be resettled. The villagers are currently living in makeshift structures after their homes were submerged in water due to the receding lake. Now, Brahman Buire gives us this story of the forgotten village. For the last four years, they've called these makeshift structures their home. The area is currently hosting more than 3,000 people whose homes were submerged due to heavy rains in the area as well as receding lake that ate their homes. The lake water transformed the homesteads and the farmlands into water bodies and turned others into fragile islands. It is a weather phenomenon that has not only denied residents here their normal lives, but also made them IDPs. The effect of receding lake was last witnessed in 1963. <laughs> Hakuna ata mtoto nalala nae kwa nyumba, bibi ya mtoto, kila mtu, nyumba moja tunalala ata watu wote. Sasa mtu waka kikufa maji imesika nyumba yako. Mpaka utaenda tu uombe jirani, kupe mali pa kusika mtu. Since their displacement, they have lost at least 43 people with 96 being born in the camp. They claim that the last time they received any help was four years ago coming from Red Cross. We established that those in the camps are suffering from diseases such as cough, rampant malaria and diarrhea. Umeona vile umbu ime, ime, ime tamba kila mahali. Ata wana, wana, wana tuuma saa hii. Mambo ya ugonjwa ni mengi sana. Mama akona mtoto mdogo, hiyo tentu ukilala na mtoto mtoto, hata ugonjwa pia inatusika sana. Watu wana, hata wenye wamekufa, ni malaria kabisa. Uwezi, fea ya kutoka hapa mpaka kanyagwana. Maji piki piki wezi ikafika. Mpengine uombe boti yende, mgonjwa wezi ya katembea. Sasa tafadhali serikali, utusaidie. Nilikuwa na samba, eka tano. Iye eka tano nilikuwa na pika, nilikuwa na lima sikikuma. Nalima nyanya, nalima vitu tafau tafauti. Ima watermelon. Lakini tangu huyo mfriko ya nzekane, niliacha kulima. Kwa jila kuna penyeneza lima. Nikilima ata viazi mba halipadoga, tamboga, mfriko inunda nayo. The nearest health facility dispensary is about 10 kilometers away from the camp and the roads are almost impossible. Kienda kanyagwa lenyewe hakuna dawa. Na hapo ndiyo siptali karibu na sisi. Sasa tunamba tu gavana nyungu alete dawa kwa kanyagwal. Ndiyo watu wetu wa hapa, hapa ogenya tupate matibabu hapo. Reports indicate that the rising waters of Lake Victoria has affected at least 37,140 households, 8,922 in Busia, 3,250 in Siaya, 13,800 in Kisumu, 7,752 in Homa Bay, and 3,416 in Miguri. Bramwell Bwire, KT News. Pretty unfortunate situation there. Let's move on to the war on graft. And that was the basis of our question tonight. We asked you, is it in order for the EACC to access suspects' bank accounts without prior notice? We wanted to know, is it in order for...